Hi, I want to tell you about your pet and animals in heaven. This is actually not just about animals. It's about living real life, going through it all. We get lots of questions and hear about the sad passing of a friend. This is more understandable when you recognize that my wife and I are authors and ministers. My dear bride is the special lady who runs a Facebook page called Prayers for Pets. We have seen a lot. As she reviewed these pictures, as we reviewed them together, she had a story behind each one. Some recovered amazingly, others did not. I am also an author as well as a pastor with a master's degree in theology. When I did the research behind my first books, I needed to come to some answers to be sure. I did some soul searching. I had been told things, but they just did not seem to be right. So I worked through it very thoroughly, and I found some amazing answers. There is some debate about what happens to an animal and if we will see those creatures in heaven or what some call the great beyond. I want to be respectful to those who have their perspectives, but I have to say, hold on to your horses, partner. As you turn to the Bible, there is something that is different than what many people assume. It is definitely not the kind of thing that you would come to expect from an ancient source. In Genesis 1, as the creation process is described, the original Hebrew word that speaks of living creatures, this exact same word translates soul when speaking of mankind. In other words, these living creatures are spoken of as having souls. There is a unique theological debate about the image of God implanted in man. There is a special relation that men and women can have with God. But there is a definite picture that the Bible paints of how God's creatures are so important to Him. He even knows when the sparrow, a small wild animal, falls. In fact, He even knows when a hair falls out of your head. He does not miss a single detail. He is intimately concerned about every single detail. And yes, that's beyond our comprehension. You can talk yourself into almost any perspective, but the Bible tells us what things are really like, what God is really, truly like. Many folks ignore it, but that is our history and our heritage. It runs even deeper than our age and our culture. I rather like it that way. In this case about animals, it's not something I just want to believe or hope in. It's from the foundations of God's message to us. We can all have opinions or unsupported ideas, but a biblical perspective is foundational. To me, it is the ultimate authority. Yeah, there's lots of noise out there, but love is real. No strings love on four legs. Look into the eyes of these creatures and tell me that they don't really matter. They do, and you know it. It does not mean a thing to them. You could be a hobo or a leader of a nation, but something they have runs deep and forever. It is a kind of mystery, unfathomable, but one that you can touch. It's hard to quickly summarize years of study and research, but let me put up one simple example. It is found in the final book of the Bible. Jesus charges out to set all things right. He comes from out of heaven. From out of heaven, he is riding a great white horse. And from out of heaven come the great myriad of followers. They too, each riding on horses. Not beams of light or flying chariots, which would seem much more practical considering this is coming from out of heaven. No, the description is of an animal, one that we know of as a horse. If you plan to be in that number, you better know how to ride one. <laughs> My conclusion is that animals naturally know their maker. They will be there waiting. I will see them there. I hope to see you there too. Men and women have choices to make, to use their freedom to seek out how to find their way. Hope, faith, and love will find a way. As one who has seen so much heartbreak, 
I would like to tell you that hope is on the horizon. Follow hope, faith, and love. Do not let anything deter you from those that will be waiting for you. Waiting in a place where love never ends. Because it never should. So I have one message from your friends. Please meet us there.